Hello everybody, it's that time again and I am doing a Mail Art Monday video. Woo! The crowd is cheering. <laughs> um, <clears throat> real life story. Um, mail, letter writing, anything to do with writing basically. Um, I just could not cope with um, over the past few months. Um, <clears throat> I sort of felt myself slipping out of my normal routine back in December when we had the holiday season and my dad and my pregnant sister came to stay with us for a good portion of the month of December. And I just kind of feel like I never really caught up from losing like three weeks of my routine. And I tried really desperately all of January to sort of find my routine again. Um, but at that point, like, I was sort of enjoying having the me time again. I was enjoying the freedom of being able to leave the house and go do the things that I enjoyed to do without the pressure of staying at home to get certain things done or all that plus the weather was really good so I was really enjoying the weather and just not wanting to be inside at all and um yeah <laughs> then in February I got into a car accident and if you watched one of my most recent videos I think um it was a few videos back I'll try to remember to link it right here so that you can see I don't know what minute mark that is but I'll try to remember to add it so that you guys can hear the story of what happened in my life back in February and sort of everything that cascaded after that but basically my world ended um in February after my car accident because um it was um it wasn't just the car accident that sort of put me down physically it shut me down um I'm still really struggling with recovery I'm definitely doing a thousand times better than I was even like three weeks ago um I had a huge setback three weeks ago now um where I couldn't walk again um, I couldn't lay, I couldn't focus on anything but the pain, um, and I don't believe in pharmaceuticals in any way, so I don't have, um, that sort of, like, I could just take, like, an Advil or something to take the pain away. Like, I, I, I don't believe in hard pharmaceuticals. Like, if I had to, I would take an Advil or, like, an ibuprofen, um, but I don't believe in getting prescription medicines unless I'm dying. I don't believe in medical interventions um, unless I'm dying or giving birth, and even then, it's super limited. Um, it's not, like, a religious thing or anything. I am not a religious person, um, but... It's just my personal preference. I have a lot of addictive um, sort of hereditary traits. A lot of my family members have addiction issues. And so at a very young age, I just made that choice to not dip my toes into anything that could become a problem for me later in life. And that just sort of has become like a personal mental choice. So I haven't had the ability to sort of just say, oh my gosh, my back hurts so bad. Like I had several doctors try to give me prescriptions to help with the pain, um, but I'm just not into it. So the pain and recovery of that has been really tricky. But the past couple of weeks, I have been feeling really amazing. Um, I have a new younger chiropractor. If you remember a couple of months ago, my chiropractor moved to Washington State and I was devastated, totally mourned, grief, all the things because she was the only one in the office that could really make me feel better and take my pain away. Um, but they hired a new guy who's actually from the same area in the very small town that I grew up in. He only grew up like 45 minutes less away from me, which in country miles is like right down the street. <laughs> um, so it's really fun having someone who's got the same sort of funky accent that I do. Um, I try to really filter a lot of that out, especially with my voiceovers, but when he, he and I get to talking, like, our vowels shift a little bit, and <laughs> it's really fun. Anyway, he has been trying a bunch of new techniques, and I felt amazing. We did a lot of traction and stretching and pulling, and that really decompressed a lot um, in my spine, which is where a lot of the issues were, and I'm feeling a lot better. 
because I'm feeling a lot better, I got motivated to write a bunch of letters. So I have written seven letters so far, which is an incredible feat. And now I'm decorating all the envelopes to go with these letters. So I don't know how long this will last, but some of these letters I was responding to were back from like October, November, December, January. So a long time coming, not the longest gap I've ever had, but it certainly feels like it's been a year. There was actually a letter that I replied to that was from 2020. So terrible person right there, but um, I'm trying and I'm getting there. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the process. I'm not using anything in particular. Everything I'm using is literally just junk that I've had sitting on my desk. I didn't really edit this a whole lot, so um, there might be like footage I normally would cut out, but I try not to edit it down too bad. Total time I think was 18 minutes and I literally just sped it up two times. So that's where we got to where we are. Um, so 18 minutes for five, um, five envelopes I think is what I did was not bad. Um, given that I had to sneak and steal the time away and I had people behind me the entire time. I'm, t I'm not even kidding you. I um, found an opportunity where the kids were distracted right here. I was yelling at somebody <laughs> to not go into frame and touch anything on my desk. Um, but I had kids behind me the whole time. And then my husband came home and he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, filming, please leave. Like, I just need five minutes. <laughs> um, so anyway, 18 minutes, got five envelopes done. Super proud of myself. Super excited to get these out. I cannot wait for my friends to get these long awaited letters. Um, and I think the main reason why I was really apprehensive responding to a lot of these letters is because I just did not want to have to explain my absence. I did not want to have to relive all of my trauma. I did not want to have to um, explain, you know, how my child was removed from his school and how I had to hire an attorney to um, file a lawsuit. I didn't want to have to explain how I battled the, um, the company that was fixing my car because they didn't fix it right and I had to keep taking it back and getting new rental cars. I didn't... I didn't want to explain all of the nitty gritty, stressful, overwhelming, heartbreaking, like had a death in the family. I didn't want to have to explain all of that. And after I filmed the video a couple of weeks ago and did the voiceover where I sort of explain everything that I went through from February 15th to now, um, I really felt a lot better. And I know a lot of it was oversharing and I know a lot of people are like, why are you putting all your business out there? Um, but honestly, I treat these voiceovers like a therapy session. Um, I have no idea who listens to these videos. Um, I have no idea the kind of judgment I'm getting. Thankfully, the comments are never mean. I never really have a whole lot of um, negative interaction. I think the only negative interaction I really get anymore um, is from the French. And they are really, they like take offense of my arms for some reason like on screen my arms look way hairier than they are in real life um but I think it's ironic that it's always the French women that just hate my channel and hate my videos because of my arms but um well, we aren't here for shaming and I don't give into that so um yeah it's just it's been crazy town and um these voiceovers are very therapeutic for me I talk to you, the viewer, as if you were sitting right here with me. I catch you guys up on my life. I tell you about the fun things that I'm doing with my kids and what we're doing together as a family. And it's sort of like a vlog without the behind the scenes. Um, and I really like that style of voiceover. So here are the close-ups. I hope that you've enjoyed this rambly video and mild explanation of why it's been so long, but basically my life stopped. I will try to link that video so that you guys can go listen to all the nitty gritty if that's what you're into, but I'm back. I'm making mail art. I'm writing letters. I am creating content more regularly now, even though it's summer and all the kids are home and that's stupid timing, but I'm trying. I'm trying to stay relevant. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys later. Here's some more stuff for you to watch if you're curious. And thanks, bye.